Tomorrow, jurors in the theater shooting trial will begin deliberating whether to move to the final phase of sentencing or sentence the gunman to life in prison. Today, we heard for the first time from his mother, and 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger shows us her emotional plea to keep her son alive. I didn't realize that his loudest cry for help was his silence. For three hours, the mother of the Aurora Theater shooter on the stand, there to convince a jury not to put her son to death. She described old home videos and her son's childhood. She also told the jury about a phone call she had with her son's psychiatrist at CU, Dr. Lynn Fenton. But she focused on what was not discussed. Did she ever tell you she had concerns because he had expressed homicidal ideation? No, never. Do you wish she had? <laughs> Uh, of course I do. I, of course. We wouldn't be sitting here if she had told me that. Would He's, you have been out here the next day? I would have been crawling on all fours to get to him. He's never said that he wanted to kill people. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't tell me. And just like her husband one day earlier, mom had to justify her feelings for her son. I still love my son. Yes. Why? Because I understand he has a serious mental illness, that he didn't ask for that. Schizophrenia chose him. He didn't choose it. Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Now, we have you covered all day tomorrow for the closing of the second phase of sentencing in this trial. You can watch it on the 7 News app. You can also sign up for breaking news alerts to learn when a decision is made in this phase.